Hello folks and welcome. This is gonna be a shame and clear on Lich King that we did last night. The video is taken from my stream. It's gonna be slash commentating uh, slash guide on this fight. Like I did a lot of mistakes. I'll go over that. I didn't play Shaman for probably around two years or maybe more. Uh, but let's start on the phase one. Your job usually is to dispel necrotic from the person that have it and keep the tanks alive. Also keeping your precious buff on the tanks that's making them to receive lesser physical damage. So here what I'm trying to do is just spam lesser heal on one of the tanks, uh, dispel necrotic as I did here and keeping the buff on both tanks uh, that they that I can provide to reduce the physical damage. Here I see that the uh, tank uh, don't have the buff so I'm just trying to proc it casting on it like already three spells but he still didn't get it. At the end he took the buff. Uh, I didn't have big up time on my shield that I'm putting on the tanks because for some reason the item that I'm tracking it uh, was not showing it so I noticed that kind of late because usually uh, I can see like the way I can see Rapture and if I'm missing my mana shield on myself uh, that uh, the shield is off and I'm gonna do it but for some reason uh, my own was not showing it so we are already about to push into the first transition phase here I failed to keep the whatever it's called on the off tank to reduce the physical damage as you can see I still don't have it uh, dispelling necrotic here and now we're gonna move inside I'm gonna call my pets uh, my pets my totems back and I'm gonna put my totems here and then probably I'm gonna do mana tight uh, time it with uh, this priest uh, mana hit or some other priest uh, whatever we say that is gonna do the him with it so after my mana tide it's over, I'm just gonna pop my healing string to them to uh, do some heals also. Here uh, there are two waves you can heal this, uh, you can spam chain heal if the raid is taking uh, too much damage or you can heal uh, every person one by one with lesser healing. Like at the moment the raid is taking a bit more damage so that's why I'm spamming chain heal here. Usually uh, if the raid is stable you just top up the people with uh, lesser healing. Um, here as you can see I'm not keeping the, the buff on the tanks that, they, that I can provide them to reduce the physical damage. Another mistake that I'm doing here because uh, this buff should be around 100% uptime so we are entering to the next phase here I'm gonna precast chain heal and I'm gonna start moving right before the chain heal lane so I fail here as well and now uh, I'm just gonna stack with the rate uh, wait for the box to drop and then I'm gonna move on the side left to right ideally here you just spam lesser heal on the tank uh, and precast uh, chain heal when you see that there is infest like I failed to do that as well but here I'm topping people uh, with uh, lesser healing or healing wave if the tanks need more heals on so reaper you can cast uh, the heals that heal the most uh, not lesser healing uh, healing wave following by rapture then another two healing waves combo uh, probably I'm gonna use it in a bit so you see it so so Reaper is coming I'm spamming the tank with lesser heals unfortunately here I was grabbed so the rate is gonna spread for defile I'm just waiting uh, for the rate to drop my valve under 50% so I can start uh, positioning myself in healing uh, here the Valk is not slow but the raid still managed to do it uh, I'm missing my mana shield, I'm just doing my mana shield now see that the Soul Reaper is coming and it's gonna be a hard one so I just pop Bloodlust right before the next Valk wave is coming because next Valk wave is 
a bit after defile, so it's kind of scary. Uh, the person with defile put not a bad one, so the raid can stay on place and DPS. Fortunately, uh, there is a shaman, a shaman, there is a priest that is going Africa and we're gonna lose him. That will leave us without any shadow priest in the raid, just a disc priest. Again, here uh, my shield on the tank is not up because, as I said, I'm tracking it usually, but for whatever reason it was not showing. But that's not an excuse. Another default is happening, I'm stacking behind the raid. Just panic, lesser heal, lesser heal, lesser heal, and then precast infest for infest chain heal, which I'm not doing. I'm doing kind of slowly. Again, no shield on the tank. Uh, I noticed that I put the shield, and now I'm just doing the combo to healing waves, rapture to healing waves, and I'm trying to time my healing wave hit exactly on the first tick on Soul Reaper and on the last tick on the five second. That way, when the tanks are receiving the huge amount of damage, uh, I'm gonna give him huge heals, so the chance that he's gonna die is very little there. Uh, now. Lich King is like 42%, so we're gonna push. Uh, we're just sitting in one place and doing damage, pushing Lich King here. Uh, we set to the other tank to town the boss, so the tank uh, can survive this Soul Reaper because I don't think he had cooldowns or whatever. Uh, so, second transition, I pull off my totems. Probably I'm gonna put them here, maybe. Uh, still no totems, okay now I put the totems, now the raid just spread and I'm just spamming uh, chain heal because the raid was dropping so much, now when the raid is stable as you can see I'm spamming lesser healing uh, here, so not a lot of raid healing is needed when the raid is not that low. Uh, one thing that you notice, I'm not tracking uh, Bounir proc, so that means I'm not uh, going to spam chain here when I when I have uh, Valonir proc, so I can spread uh, the shield that Valonir provides. So that's like a healing loss in terms of Skada and uh, Recon, whatever don you're using for healing, because uh, you're not throwing like these shields on the people when you have the buff uh, here. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just get a bit inside and heal the off tank because the main tank is not going to take that much damage. Uh, I failed to do the buff on him for lesser physical damage. As I said, I fail a lot here on this shaman. So here I put the I put the torrents in, in the middle, so whatever we go, we can just uh, be in rage on the totems and we can get the uh, buffs that they are giving. Uh, moving few steps, spamming uh, chain heal here, nothing uh, like else uh, you can do. Here and there you can put a rapture heart on somebody and just uh, next time you have rapture do it on another person, which I'm not doing because uh, see, as I said, it just it's really not Timo gameplay that I did here a lot of time passed since last time I play Shaman, but uh, we are moving here. I failed to pre-do the buff on both tanks for 10% lesser physical damage. Another fail on my side, as you see. I did it uh, way slower. Uh, Dove tanks still don't have it. Now he have it. Uh, we're gonna position like. Uh, right behind Lich King, so I'm seeing that we're going away from my so I'm gonna put him back and put it around here probably. Uh, if I'm not like paying attention to this, uh, from what I saw, I didn't pay attention. So here we are without totems, because we are out of range of the totems. Just uh, killing the off tank in the main tank here, nothing else you can do, and you can throw like a uh, Chain heal if more people are getting hit by Vow Spirits, if they are not uh, going um, in a good direction. As you saw already, we lost two Shadow Priests from the Vow Wave, so we have to be extra careful for the Wicked Spirits inside. Uh, hunters are doing a good job, Mages are helping, whoever can help with the damage there to kill them. It's really nice, of course. Uh, Druid is saving his thing, uh, Starfall, whatever it's called, for inside, so 
Oh, he can clear the whole room when we enter. Uh, here, just doing few steps, spamming chain heal as I said. I don't know why I'm not using Rapture here. Keep the hot on somebody because that's extra healing. Uh, just not paying attention, I guess, or just out of freedom. But you want to do that uh, here? Another mistake like uh, right before we going outside, you want to put your buff on the main tank for physical damage reduce as i said i didn't do that because uh, i don't know uh, it's just too many mistakes here i'm spamming holy light holy light <laughs> healing wave and chain heal the off tank because the main tank is not gonna take that much damage again uh, i'm about to position myself probably here i'm gonna put the totems this time so they're gonna be in range uh, here kind of early PS so uh, one of the paladins have to do sacrifice or this I on the tank for this uh, I guess yeah he receive it and just topping up the people that are getting hit from uh, spirits that are coming toward us this is gonna be the last frost chamber for us uh, I'm not uh, pulling out my totems here like another mistake that I so saw I was doing quite a lot because when you pull the totems back you're gonna get mana and I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna put the totems here in the middle, moving a bit, spamming uh, chain heal and uh, uh, putting rapture or somebody I guess I'm finally gonna start doing it on the third uh, first moon chamber or not, we're gonna see if I'm gonna have uptime on it, yeah I do have it which is okay so here before you enter you want to precast a bit on your main tank so he get the buff for physical damage reduce which again i'm not doing it because i'm sleeping and uh, we're going out the uh, default is gonna be on me and i'm gonna put like the best defile in the middle of the raid Fortunately for us, the raid moved well, so we didn't spread the defile and we didn't wipe because uh, if it was any other time, I guess I could have wiped the raid. That's really a bad defile that I put, even though I said we're going out to help defile. I didn't pay attention that is the last uh, Frost Moon Chamber that we're gonna enter. I could have used, pre used my uh, speed from engineering and just run away, but yeah. Okay, here I put the totems, now I'm just gonna heal the tank, uh, one of him, like the main tank I'm healing, and when the about, about, about when the spirits are dead, I'm just gonna start doing damage on Lich King, and so this is how the fight goes, I did a lot of mistakes as you saw, but uh, your main goal here is to keep the tanks alive, keep your uh, buff from physical damage reduce on the active tank or in the phase one you want to keep it on both tanks on phases when we have raging spirits uh, you want to keep it on both tank as well and just spam lesser heal if and precast uh, chain heal on infest and if somebody is still need uh, topping up on infest you can use lesser healing or healing wave to do that and basically a lot of tank healing and just supporting the infest that's how you do it well, I hope you take something from this fight, because uh, as I said, I did a lot of mistakes, guys. And thanks for watching. See you next time.